Hey folks, it's Barry here from My Virgin Kitchen, back on the Tasty Tenor channel. You are looking gorgeous today, but anyhow, this is a four ingredient hunter's chicken and it is made in no time at all. You must give this a go. So we'll start off by simply poaching our chicken, hence on my little facial pot uh, right there. Poaching chicken is a bit old school, but I really like it, okay? So we're gonna put this in there uh, for about 10 minutes, so just drop it in like that. I love how it almost changes color straight away. Uh, so it's gonna go nice and white, first of all, but it'll go all nice and soft and moist. And it's a really cool recipe to make. Rather than pulled pork that takes ages, you can make shredded chicken uh, by poaching your chicken that way, just a little tip. So give this about 10 minutes in there. That's a nice gentle simmer, and then we'll make the rest of the dish. So once the 10 minutes is up of the simmering guys, carefully lift them out with a slotted spoon onto some kitchen paper just to cool down for a couple of minutes. So what we're gonna do is grab our bacon and start to wrap it around our chicken breast, okay? So these are quite small chicken breasts. I'm literally just gonna put one rasher on there. Uh, try and get it so the seam isn't at the top, okay? So ideally sit it on it or just to the side. So I'm gonna repeat that with both the chicken breasts. Okay, so that's my chicken breasts all done. Now it is the barbecue sauce step. So grab your favorite type of barbecue sauce, or if you've got the time, because this is obviously what makes it fast, make your own. It's obviously so much more worthwhile, but I do like this one. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is give it a really good coating of sauce all up and down the chicken. Let it sort of drizzle all over there. Get it all fully coated. Guys, I just need a moment. Okay, right, so here we go. Nice and coated chicken. What we're gonna do now is get some really good quality grated cheddar cheese and sprinkle it all over the top. Up and down like that, loving it. It's gonna hold the barbecue sauce, it's gonna hug it, it's, it's gonna hug it like that, it's gonna, I love you. So okay, cheese on there. All we wanna do now is simply whack it in the oven, bake it through to melt up our cheese, and that'll be it done. Oh, the smell is amazing already. So I've got to wait around about 10 minutes for that. But if you do give this recipe a go, guys, don't forget to send us a picture at My Virgin Kitchen and at The Tasty Tenor. We would love to see them and probably try and smell them as well. It's, oh, so good right now. Wow, guys, that has been 10 minutes and it is smelling amazing and looking so, so good as well. And the cheese has got to that point where it's clinging, okay? So I haven't gone all golden and bubbly. I want it nice and droopy, okay? So what we're gonna do, well, I've got a plate here. I'll show you this. I've got some roasted asparagus in the oven for about 10 minutes in some olive oil, salt and pepper, lovely jubbly, and some mashed potato. But this would be great as it is on its own. All I'm gonna do is scoop up a chicken breast. Here we go, Let's sit it down on there like that, it's so gooey, it's smelling amazing. And of course, we've got this residue of sauce right at the bottom, and it would only be fair to gather some of that barbecue sauce and melted cheese and just spoon it just around the edge like that, just to lubricate the rest of the dish. But I hope you'll agree, that is looking absolutely sensational. I really hope you give it a go. See you again next time. Bye for now. <laughs>